Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum and greetings, Salishan Mal here. Beautiful sunny day, lots of winds and a beautiful river behind me calls for a beautiful flight of a J11 seaplane. It's allergy time so I might need to put on mask but let's set this plane up and uh, what? <laughs> fly the J11 what? Huh? Oui. Mini floating jet with built-in gyro. Well, jokes apart, this really is the Mini J11 right here. I am not joking. This has dual motors, built-in gyro. Now, size comparison, obviously you're watching it with the uh, original J11 Sealan airplane. Exactly the same design. I mean, this is really the same thing. It also comes with LED lights that you can install, and I have done that. I have installed the LED lights, okay? And it should actually float, and I'm not sure if take off, but it should float. Let's find, we will find that out very soon. There's a built-in uh, gyro control receiver all in one thingy right here. A 3.7 volt, 300 milliamp battery comes with this little C float jet, and you can fly it with that. They said it has a plenty of flight time. We'll find that out as well. It has no elevator, no rudder, nothing, no moving surfaces. All it does is control the ascend and descend with the speed of motors and the angle on the plane. Obviously, you can also tweak right here if it knows if it's climbing too much and you know doing that wavy kind of thing. But it's going to be tricky to fly it. And differential thrust makes it turn and also makes it balance. Let's fly it and see how it goes, how stable it is, and if, if it is really perfect for beginners or not, and then we'll bring it to the water. Man, it's really windy. Turn the radio on. I mean, I shouldn't be even flying it. Throttle up and down. Okay, works. Complete stock setup, nothing done. Okay, LED lights are working. Let's just throw it in the air and see if it flies and if it flies good or not and if it is really a nice beginner plane. Now, it's really windy and gusty at some points. I mean, it's already one to take off from my hands. That's the key. <laughs> Next one! The baby is eager to go in the water. Just throw it. Big winds. I have to play with the throttle more. Throttle control is the key to fly these mini planes. But it does... <laughs> I don't know, I mean, how without having any surfaces you can have something stabilized like this. With differential thrust only. Look at that, how, how stable it's flying. And all I need to do is reduce the throttle, control the throttle, and turn it around. Look at that. Now there are no winds, so with the control of throttle, I can actually fly it with one hand. Look at that. <laughs> it is absolutely very stable, very tough, which makes it a 100% beginner's new friend. And if you want to do aerobatics, just stall it and it will pull a roll. Look, just like that. <laughs> oh, okay, I took off again. That wasn't bad. It is your little fun machine in the parks. Give it to the kids. They're gonna love it. They're gonna enjoy it. And don't worry about them crashing it because it doesn't break 
look how beautifully it's actually balancing itself oh almost land on the roof of my car now I'm learning to throttle control <laughs> and it's actually giving me a very nice flight performance look at that I am now having fun man I'm learning to fly it stable and nice Woo, that was nice little pass now don't land there please if you want to land come closer to me man I have so many alhamdulillah mashallah very expensive planes in my car long-range FPV wing a glider but look at that I'm having fun flying this little J11 float plane with two channels will you call that a good landing <laughs> okay if you want let's try for a good landing okay let's try if it can really take off from ground which we have seen it did actually and here we go look at that if you do it takes off superb okay I'll just take it right there cut the throttle control the differential thrust look I almost hovered it see when the winds cut down it actually flies even more beautiful now that's what you call a good landing for this obviously okay so it's on and it's in the water it's in the water now driving it should be easier one of the propeller touches the water so I am not sure if it is really going to take off both propellers are touching the water see what I'm talking about it's good to drive but not gonna take off not gonna take off maybe there is a trick to it I'm not sure I am not sure if there's a trick to it the propellers basically are touching the water all the time see it does not have enough power to push out get my meaning you're watching it so it's good to drive like a boat which it is driving <laughs> but it's definitely not gonna take off the water it can land on the water definitely but not gonna take off not happening and some really smooth landings as well come on leave the water come on you know what to do hit that like button it's right there I know you can do it oh while you're at it also hit the subscribe button right there come on don't be shy just hit it thank you very much for all your support towards my work that I post regular and fresh content on my channel just for you hit that like button right there.